hello so we are recording for flexbox this will be the second time right uh, mostly third or fourth time but uh, yesterday i missed to connect my microphone so i'm re-recording the flexbox let's go to our css uh, documentation and here if you scroll down right in our flexbox section uh okay let's go back here yeah i'll just open this file okay maybe we're gonna need the help of uh something from here right so i will quickly explain right uh, and then we're gonna do some practical okay the flexbox properties in flexbox right we need here is the relation between the parent and the child right basically you're gonna have a container you see this uh purple i think this is a purple right that's the container just call that parent con that is a container right and these are the child okay the child there so the first property now you, you should select the container right in our css and then apply display flex that will be the first property means in order to behave this container as a flex box you should select the container and display flex next is direction right flex direction so by default it will be row right by default means even if you don't apply flex direction row it is already that in that uh, implementation i mean it will be in the row position right okay so there is row reverse normally we don't use right let's not worry about that the next is column right so and column reverse so most of the time you will be end up using row and column just remember that right uh, for flex direction will be row and column position and we will see how it, it looks so when there is a row okay so the next is let's look at the flex wrap what is flex wrap now so without flex wrap right basically it is flex wrap none is uh by default is no wrap by default what is it is no wrap means it's not gonna wrap right but soon you apply wrap then any items right if there is no more space what it will do it will drop down start in the new line right so that's what happened when you have flex wrap flex wrap property wrap okay now, now fl uh, flex flow so what is flex flow right flex flow is the shorthand for flex direction and flex wrap so you can write here like column and wrap simple you know so either you use it separately flex wrap and flex uh, direction or you can use flex flow and then combine it together right next property now important one right all is these are important but justify content so basically just if what is justify content remember in the word document right we have a you know like a justify left center right right space between or maybe uh space evenly space all around these are the few properties around six property inside you know justify content the so flex start flex in so look at look at this uh, drawing right the childs are in the beginning of this container okay flex start flex in will be on the end of the container then center then space between space around space evenly see easily right i mean you can see how it looks so that is justify content so when they when our uh display flex right when you have display flex uh, that is by default row in that case when it is row right just imagine when the display flex is a row position the justify content should be in the x axis x means horizontal right so it will move the item or the child to so start in center space between space around or space evenly so these are the property you can apply okay and we're going to see during our practical exercise so that's it let's move to the next one next one is here align items what is align items it will be y axis y axis so when the flex uh, display flex is row that means align item will be y axis okay and that will be same thing right 
y axis means it will move the item to the top to the bottom uh, center right like that uh, stretch means just occupy the whole height of the element means basically height of the parent and baseline so baseline means uh, you know it will be basically the text will be lined up in the same uh, horizontal line right basically the text are like a in the same line just just think like that right the baseline see here that is the baseline but normally we will be using center most of the time you will end up using center okay next is align content now so align content right and align items are the almost same but align contents now give the flexibility right flexibility of what same like justify content so justify content is what in the horizontal right but what if you want to have a space between in the vertical a space around stretch you know all that things right then you use aligned content okay so this will be vertical uh or vertical right so if you want some space between all the tiles and all that okay all right so now container flex start in center space between all that right aligned content so now gap so gap will be the row and column both right but you have you can if you just need row gap you can use row gap column gap if you need column gap but you just use the shorthand gap it will be row and column both so that is all right in our parent container property okay the so next is what the child property right child property child property the first one is order order means any child you can order it right by just providing the number so you have to select that child container and then give the number right so lower the number will be in the beginning right uh, higher the number will be in the end so something has a five number right so if you give order equal to five that means that will be to the end it will be end up in the end right so minus one is the you know then zero most likely one two three four it will move like that the same order means you know placing the child to the certain position right so that is order grow now flex grow there are three property flex grow flex shrink uh flex basis right flex grow means it will grow flex shrink means it will shrink and flex basis means the width you remember we have a width in our css so here in the flex box we have flex basis means what size width right okay so there is some default property uh, value for this flex grow so that will be zero flex grow means it will not grow means by default it will not grow right if you add the number then proportionally it will grow means you we're going to compare between different child right because these properties are for child so for child what we saw order flex grow flex shrink and for shrink is one means it will shrink by default it, it can shrink okay and flex basis is the width right the flex basis is uh, by default okay auto means uh, by default it is auto right so auto means it whatever the size of the content that is the size of our uh, child by default that is auto we can provide the even width or percentage whatever right to the to the flex basis this is same like a width of the container or, or the child container or any element okay Okay, flex now that is a shorthand right if you just put flex and then you can flex grow shrink or the flex basis right so and align self now so you select one of the child here right and apply this align self property that will move up down or left i mean up or down basically based on flex start flex end center baseline auto you know these are the property or align self so you can control the individual child also i think that's it right here so total four property we saw here flex shrink grow flex basis align self and the order right so let's do some experiment in our okay 
uh, you guys have learned about this all right I'm just um, what i'm doing is uh, you know try to add some you know just add something in the youtube the reason i'm doing is you guys revise no matter what you just read through the tutorial you do you know like you watch video you maybe find something online it's okay but please master the flexbox very important okay just go repeat repeat many times right so let's look at the code so what i have here right uh, okay so i have written created the nav because it's you know i created it started right and i i removed some of the style so we're gonna use this letter but for now i will comment this out right let's comment this out i don't need this header for now i will oh what happened Is that okay Hmm. Why is not working? Okay. I just comment this out. Let's go live view, right? So it looks something like this. So I think there is some CSS properties I will remove for now. Uh, let's remove that. Save. And normally this is the one right one two three or four whatever so let's check uh, i will add one more here okay so that will be three okay, right save this so one two three four that's the four child the black box is our container so how look at the html here so we have a div with class name parent we have a for div with the child and the there is two class name child and child one so i use child for general styling right and then later i'm going to use individual class name you know because remember the child also have some property like order you can apply flex string grow you know like a flex basis all that right and then finally was the flex what was that uh ob, not object what even i forgot it's align self this one see the last one these are the few properties you can apply to the child as well so we can that's why i need the individual class name so that i can select one of them and then experiment with the property so that is this is the situation right or the, our code should be our you know like html should be something like this always parent and then the child right you need this condition you need a condition like this in order to create a flex box so now this parent box right will be you know you can add a flex property here in the parent right or the container okay you can call it container or parent or whatever name you can give right so so right now it looks uh, it just looks something like this so i will minimize right we're going to go side by side so that you can see the changes here so let's let's do the display flex save this and what i said by default right it will be row okay i mean there is four column now but by default it is row in one row yeah so that is the first property right flex then next one is flex direction correct flex we we'll learn about flex direction because we need to you know like if i do row here right will be same thing no problem but a row reverse you can we want to see look at here so it just reverse to the opposite one went to the last and moved to the right side right so that's what happened in reverse but let's not worry about that by default is the row by default is the row even if you don't add this property it will be here right something like that exactly okay all right so now experiment with the column right what happened to the column now column right so it looks like that means it just drop in one column but there is four row now right four row okay so during your you know when you're creating project you just decide what you need right and you can add the direction based on that 
a row you don't have to add but if you need to make a column you know just use the flex direction column and done now the next thing right i will just comment this out for now save and uh, if we go down here there is a gap right row gap and column gap okay you see that row gap and column gap so you know if you based on what you need you can use but I, what i will do i'll just use gap right shorthand and give it 24 pixel see that there is gap between each child 24 pixel so that is a gap okay and uh, okay so next is what flex wrap flex wrap right flex wrap will be no wrap so by default is no wrap right but if i put wrap here and save because there is no column right and there is also you know like this box is fixed size okay? i mean there is no wrap right uh, why, why it's not wrapping see? because this is the fixed width this 400 is a fixed width right that's why it's not gonna wrap okay uh the if i i remove the width here right i remove the width and then it grow it, it become flexible now right and if i you know it wrap now see that wrapping right because the container was fixed with it will not wrap okay just remember that okay so you saw the flex wrap so you saw flex direction flex wrap so now important topic right i mean uh, justify content that is important right so the flex start is the by default flex start is by default flex end it will move to the right side okay then center mostly you're going to use center right because you want your content in the center see so all of them move to the center now space space right there is three bit with space around space between and space evenly so you can use either space around if you need so there is space all around and the more in the center right okay that is the property space around then space evenly right okay so equally means evenly spaces spread out right and then if you want only between so between right so there will be space only between the child okay so that is justify content next is align item so that was horizontal means x axis now align item is what in the vertical right so if i move put a center it's moved to the center right you have flex start same thing you know flex start end is always same everywhere right that is in then start will be on the beginning so start is by default right remember the elements will always start from the left top corner right so that is a starting point and then there was a base baseline right baseline also so what is baseline draw so normally same thing right baseline is same thing so not gonna see much different but you know mostly what we use the important one is center because you know you in our, in our box right we, we always try to make our child in the center okay and we're going to see during our navigation bar right when we create okay okay so that is a line item so next was okay so next right i will just convert now to the column and see what happened okay when it is row it behaves like this but soon i convert to column right save this look at that now this justify justify bit uh, content right it works in the y axis now y axis that's why there is a space between right it just because remember it has to make a space between or start or end but it is in the y axis okay and the center a line item will go in the x axis so I can do here like a flex start right and cause look at that so I'm moving in the y axis okay so that is the different right you have to remember they ask in the interview you know what happened when you flex direction you know will be column and then align items flex end so what will be the, where the child will move right flex end you have to tell it to the left Corner, you know, means it will be moved to the right, basically right side right end means what the right you know 
end of the box right that's what you have to say and then if you need to bring center in center here also if you put center right so let's put center in the y axis now there is no space but they move to the center in y axis now if you want here center also it will move to the you know x uh, x axis also in the center this is x axis and this is y axis okay so that was you know or flex direction when column right now next one is uh align content right align align content okay and if you put uh space space between what gonna happen so it did not right so we have to move this space between i didn't work okay one second now Oh, because it has to be in the row position, right? Yeah, row position. Let's try it. Space align content. Space between is still not right. Flex. And what gonna happen? Flex start. Align content. So something. What is the? You know, I always uh, have some issue with this, right? We'll be not able to make it correct but anyway align item align content right flex start flex end uh, center stretch and all that so let's remove that i don't need to worry about that for now that is by default so if you put align content right aligned content oh sorry there is there is only one line of item there is not many item right so th there will be no like space between because see this row item there is only one row that's why you cannot see much uh, i mean you cannot see the different right look at here that's why i said i always see there is many line item right so you can see something is moving up down or center or stretch uh, or space between okay so if i move to the center let's put it the center right that should move to the center you know. did not move right so if i put a line item center and what about a line content right so it did not so why, what we need, right? Uh, so this property only takes effect on multiple line flexible container, okay? When flex wrap is set to either wrap or wrap reverse, right? A single line flex container, uh, flex wrap is not set to its default value, no wrap, will not reflect a line content. Okay, so, I mean, you need to have multiple line of, uh, you know, flex item in order to this work okay so let's not worry about that most important is right uh, we will be end up always using what justify content and align item that is the two things you have to remember yeah so the, yeah so now you know wrap we saw the wrap right and we saw the gap also uh, the next one is the you know the style property right so if I will go back here, right? Sorry, let's see how much time. Okay, I think uh, okay, that's let, let's continue. Yeah, even more than thirty minutes. I think we have to finish this. Uh, what I'm going to do now? So I will select this child three or child four, right? Let's go back and then you know child four. And give some different background color okay background color of maybe and then then give a order right if i just put order of one what gonna happen or let's say minus one right 
accept this check our it moves to the front the four has moved to the front means order will be always if you put one right it will move like it will be normal okay if you put two save this it's normal because it's two is higher than one all of them are one okay so all of them are one that means it will go by the position of the element right the position is what this is the position one first second third fourth like that all of them are one position so that's why either i have to make zero to bring this on the uh, zero it does not work right nothing so minus one will will be on the top uh, on the beginning and then you know or five if i put the highest number it will be always in the last right then everyone okay okay so that was the order the next is uh i will give this right uh flex that is flex ring grow and what do you call that flex ring grow flex ring flex grow and flex basis but if i give one here right what is going to happen means it takes all available space by itself okay so you, you can call like other child also right and you can provide the size you know you can say flex just give a flex shorthand flex right and give it a, i will give this one save so see both of them become equal size right but what if i make it twice the size of the one right see so this is little big one right and the, the double the size is this one they are just the they have shrink down right little but you can select all of them and give one 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 right and then you make the other one two or depends what you need right how much size you need you can provide that if i make this three side three times means the it becomes three times and they, they shrink right see so proportionally it will grow based on the size of the screen so just remember that and then finally was align self right so this this is the item i say align self so either i will put on the top flex start in right if i do the flex in it will just drop down right see the one move if you put flex start it will be on the top right see uh if you put center center right the same property okay so mostly you're gonna you know end up using flex starts in the case of image right you want to bring that start from the top line or something like that you're gonna use it you know you're gonna have it you have to use this align self means that particular item you want to put it somewhere in the position you know like a match to the other item right so you get you get the point here you know the align self basically you can move the child individual child to certain position okay so that was all about the flex box please practice this uh we will quickly do the one exercise right uh for our map bar okay so here i will remove the comment save this so you see the nav bar here right so that's the logo so this is the head right header section then we have a logo and we have this uh nav style right nav style. So this is the first child, second child, okay? So in this case, I have two child here, right? So if I select this header, so let's select that, go back to CSS, and I will just do class. And if I do display, like what's gonna happen? I'll just make simple navigation, okay? So look at here, these two move, right? Then I say uh, justify content, right? A space between this between right they move to the corner right I, what i can do is uh, for now this i don't want to uh, apply any padding or all that right i just make it space evenly or space around right let's give some some space also on this you know like on this left and right side fine can you give a background color right uh still blue and then Colors will be let's make it white, okay? Something like that. Now you see this UL tag, right? In in our uh, here, that's also the parent for all these child. So let's let's use that one. So 
QL and I say display flex. Okay, save and it looks like that. So you will, you know, that dotted line, right? That is list style. So list style, just make it none. So dotted will be gone, right? Now let's make a gap also of 24 pixel. Save that. Okay. Uh, these are not in the center, right? So what we can do in our head section just below here, right? That's what justify content space around that is horizontal. But what I will do, align items, right? Align caps lock remove. Align a, a line item. So align items will be center. Soon I put the center, see they're all in the center now. So let's go back here right and then uh select our a tag and then we can say text decoration none right and then uh color right color let's make it i think we can just put inherit right i think that will be fine so it, it will inherit from the parent okay Let's make a font size, right? Font size to maybe two REM. Oh, that's too big, right? 1.2 REM. Okay. Yeah. So that's it, you know. Uh, you see, I mean, we simply we can, you know, achieve this goal by using Flex and see how we have done, right? So just try, uh, practice, and try to do this. We will be working with the projects, uh, you know, starting maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow. So we have, you know, I have a listed project right in the project. Uh, if you look at here, there are, I think, uh, how many projects now? Six. Six, right. And then if you go to the front end mentor site here, you're going to find a bunch of projects. Okay. So that will, I still have right click, you know, if you go to that site. So, you know, you, you have to master, right? You have to master all these things. But basically, if you, you know, can create all these projects on your own, right? That's what you need to become in order to work as a front-end developer, okay? You have to be really creative, right? And we will be getting there in next one or two weeks. Let's say maximum two weeks, right? So, uh, you just need to work hard. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. I will stop the recording now.